Hello guys, my name is Kalyats and today I'm going to show you guys how to do some Cinema 4D Sync in Cinema 4D. Um, so, as you might hear, uh, I've got a cold right now, so I might sound a bit weird. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know what I sound like. So, uh, I've got Michael Watts' Lightroom here. Open up, I've just got Sync in the text. And it looks pretty sick, as you can see. Uh, so, first of all, you're going to want some music. I've got this song, I'll play it for you, DJ Snake, du, du, du. yeah that song, so what I'm going to do is you want to go and open up a website called youtube to mp 3org and you're going to copy this URL and you're going to put, and you're going to put it in here and you're going to convert video, click download and then you're going to go to mp 3 org mp3cut.net then you're going to want to open file let's open the file uh, wherever I downloaded it to DJ Snake luckily I've got enough of monitor now right okay so it'll open up and it'll show you the waveform okay so the, the drop pass from my last tutorial looks like something like this that can that's probably the drop as well so I'm going to first drop so it's stop So let's pause. Like that. Okay, that's about it. So then you're gonna click cut, and then you're gonna save it. You're gonna download it, and you're just gonna save that. In your folder then you want to go into cinema 40 and then go to MoGraph effector and then go to sound and then you'll see the effect tab and then go to sound file and then open up your file which will come up it doesn't look like it's come up on mine but it has it's just on the other screen uh, so we're going to DJ snake and the Luna George you know you like it mp3 cut.net open up and then this will come up and you're gonna wanna select no. And then that should you should be able you should be able to hear it. Okay, it's gone. So then mine stops like at two hundred and forty five. Two hundred and forty five. And that's how long my uh, animation is. Okay, and that's how long my animation is going to be. So let's see. Okay. Okay. Good. So then you're going to want to get yourself to the drop. You're going to find it. I don't know if it works. Again there then you're going to want to keyframe that going to put auto auto keyframe on make sure that's keyframed and uh, there and you're also going to want to keyframe the camera and delete that keyframe there and then you're going to want to go to the first keyframe and then move your circle to about here ish and uh move the camera back as well to about there actually in a bit more and then you're going to want to go to here actually a bit before that put that so um, blah, i'm really not explaining this correctly so then you've just basically got that it's a bit plain and boring so you're going to want to go to the drop and you're going to want to go five keyframes back so one two three four five and then you're going to go up about here and go about where and now if you've done it all correctly you should get something like this 
and then after you've done that you're gonna want to grab if if your mo text is like this it's like that you're gonna go mo graph effector group and uh, then it will put them both into a group and you can control them from the middle and another thing my Watts is like room does it really strange is uh it's the, the text isn't in the middle let's put that in the middle actually let's do it with the mo text and yeah that looks cool now you can control it from the absolute middle and you want to do is again find your drop I'll just find it on here right here and you're gonna want to keyframe the name and you're gonna want to keyframe the name and then uh, you're gonna go to the start and rotate it back a bit about 360 degrees if you can do that let's see what that is. I'm really bad at talking today and uh, see what that looks like Okay, that looks cool. So now the text is like spinning. Okay. So now you're gonna wanna do the cinema 40 sinky bit. Okay, now you're gonna wanna find the next kind of big beat kind of thing. So let's see. Okay, so it's about there. And you're gonna wanna go to the name. Actually, don't select the name, select the circle. Go to about here, uh, where the beat is, uh, or no, actually no, don't do that. And then, um, pff, I'm really doing this really bad. And then you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five keyframes back. And you're gonna wanna do whatever you wanna, uh, and then whatever, oh my God. Okay, and then that's where you wanna, and then you're gonna put the key, and then you're gonna put a keyframe uh, wherever you wanna put. And then you're gonna go five keyframes ahead. I didn't count that. One, two, three, four, five. And then kind of like go to wherever you want to go. Not go there. So now I'm like that. Okay, might want to put that a bit more. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. And. The next drop's probably about there. There, so one, two, three, four, five keyframes back. Keep it going in the same kind of direction. Like that. And then go five keyframes. And then go complete of a direction if you want to. And give them a there. See what that looks like. And then there's quite a quick one here. There, one, two, three, four, five. Keyframe, one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna go about here. Go here. Okay, and here we go. See what that looks like all together. I should go crazy for that bit. So just go like that. What we can do. So wherever the keyframe was, we're gonna go like that. And you'll see what I'm doing in a second. Hang on, that looks weird. Okay, that's just weird. Delete that. Oh, we just got like that. Actually, hang on, where's this going? Put that to about here. Okay. So now I'm gonna want to keyframe the camera a bit. Uh, so then I'm gonna see this keyframe. Keyframe the camera a bit. Then one, two, three, four, five. Go out a bit. And then I'm gonna find the next drop. And then I'm gonna keyframe the camera. Then one, two, three, four, five is pretty repetitive. Ah, oh, don't do that. Whatever you do, uh, I'm gonna go in a bit. 
like that. Um, this should look pretty cool. That's a bit off the first one. Um, it might just be the PC. Yeah, that looks rubbish. So what we're gonna do is gonna keep gonna move this forward a bit. Let's move the circle one forward first. It's about there. Let's see. Okay, that's cool. Then you're gonna move uh, the camera keyframe. Oh no, moved it. You're gonna make sure you've got the first camera keyframe. So you've got it like that. And you can see it. Okay, and you're gonna carry on doing what you were doing before. And just keyframing it a bit. Make sure you don't like do something really stupid. I, I, I don't know what I meant by that, but just don't. For example, I zoomed in there. I don't want to zoom out now, but I'm going to zoom up the next drop. One, two. Sorry about that. My the phone rang. Um, my phone rang. So um, then you're going to want to zoom out of it to about here. See what that like. Okay. And then what we're going to do with the camera, what we're going to do is go to about here. And camera is going to zoom out. And then, did I just put that on the drop? I did, didn't I? I don't care, I'm going to do it five keyframes, I have to move it, I have to move it. One, two, three, four, five. And put it back around and I'll go to about here. And then I will... Camera, then let's just zoom it back in. Like this. Oh, that looks awful. Okay. Oh, what the heck is going on here? It's like. That's just weird. Maybe we'll skip out that bit. <laughs> just, just skip it out. Oh, I know why. Undo all of that. Undo all of that. Right. Yeah, just take this a bit more. That looks weird because it looks like it's gonna kind of going off that. Okay, that looks okay. We're just, we're just gonna leave it there. And then we'll just make sure the camera keeps range of it. Okay. Okay, now this so this part of the song you want to kind of keep it quite chill. Not really do that much. So I'm just going to just go here. We're gonna have some splines and stuff. You know what I mean? We can do now. In a minute, actually. So that looks pretty cool. That doesn't, but the thing will do. Before we do that, we're gonna get name. We're gonna get. We're gonna get name, and then we're gonna. Every time there's a drop, we're gonna kind of spin it around a bit. So you're gonna want to get the f the one bef the keyframe before the drop one, and go five keyframes before that. Hang on, I didn't count that. One, two, three, four, five, and then you're gonna go into name, and you're gonna keyframe it. Then what? Oh, wait. Okay, that's good. And you'll see it like moves a bit, even though it didn't take. Then you go ten keyframes forward. One, two, three, four. Hang on, what the heck? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna sling it forward. Oh, about three fifty-one or whatever. 
that island. And maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15 keyframes. Okay, that's cool. And then we're going to find the next drop, which is here. Here. I'll go one, two, three, four, five. Text keyframe, and I'll do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And it's gonna spin around again, obviously. Okay. Oh no, don't do that. Okay, that's cool. Okay, and then it's gonna not spin around for any of that because that'll be really fun. But we will spin here, I think. Yeah, we'll spin. Because uh, that'll move it a bit anyway. Here, text, spin one more time, please. And that'll do. That should make it a bit more dark as well, which we really want to have. Really. Let's see that. Actually, it doesn't look that good in places. Gonna take it out. Here, we don't want it. That's actually pretty cool, actually. So just play around and kind of find some cool stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Let's see what that looks like. Plain white, I don't really care. Okay, guys, so time for the spline. So this isn't going to be a spline tutorial or anything. So I'm just going to use some quick preset splines that I made one day when I was bored. Actually, no, I'm going to use, I'm going to make actual splines. So I'm gonna come out of camera mode. I'm gonna I'll make a quick spline for you guys. Uh, just, it's pretty simple. I'll make a spline tutorial someday when I'm bored. <laughs> okay, so that looks like a pretty cool spline right there. Make sure it doesn't touch the text in any way. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna die. And that looks cool. And then you're gonna get sweep nerves, sweep nibs, and a sphere. And you're gonna put the helix in the sweep, and then the sphere. That didn't work because I've obviously done something bad wrong. No, because I got an actual sphere. You need a circle. And then you can get that. Five. Okay. So now you're going to animate it by going like this. So 100%. Okay, and then 0%, 0% like that. Then halfway through, just up that a bit. Not that much. How fast is that? Maybe a bit slower. Actually, no. Something like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to duplicate this after I put a quick red on there. Then duplicate it. And then just move the keyframes back a bit. And make sure you like rotate it like. 180 or something just to make them look a bit different. Oh, cool. That's cool. Let's look at it all. Okay. 
Okay, that's cool. If you want to look at it, like, if you want to feel special right now, go into project settings, edit project settings, and then go to FPS and put that to 60. And now there'll be loads more keyframes to render, but it looks so cool. Hopefully, uh, my video will show this, but let's just see how cool this looks. Now, it looks so smooth. Look at that. Just so smooth. Just, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, so there's not much else I need to do in this tutorial, really. Oh, another thing. Is you know when you do splines you can see that if you don't want to see that you're gonna go into sweep cinema folding tags uh, and then make a composite uh, not not a display tag a s compositing tag and go on to tag and turn off scene by reflection for both of them I'm just gonna copy that and put it on there oh no oh no okay I'll just do it on both cinema folding tags Compositing, scene by reflection, and then you will see that the it doesn't show on the text. If you did enjoy it and it did help you out, uh, leave a like and comment to tell me to do more. And and if you want me to do a tutorial or something, you need help on or something, just say in the comments and I will probably do it. Depends uh, what it is, kind of. I don't know what it would be, but yeah. And yeah, so uh, see you later. <laughs>